What's up, cavemen? My name is Jaden Where My Got Cooked, third year super senior, and this year is my friend Kate Tobo. That's all the introduction he gets. Dog, what? What? Whatever. Today we're gonna be interviewing some people on how they feel about Hoko, and we got a heated argument on a touchy subject. That's right, we've got a pretty good show ahead, so stay tuned. Oh, and hey, in case you guys didn't know, today is September 20th, National Queso Day. Yo, you should have said, in case so you didn't know. Please stop talking. Okay, anyway, that's Kate. That's Jaden. And, and you're, you're watching Kate TV. I'm not gonna lie, that intro was gas. Fourth wall break. First up, we got Sierra running some Hoko interviews. Let's go check him out. Hi, I'm Sierra Thames, and we're in the hallway right now. We're gonna be asking students what they think about the homecoming thing. Let's go. All right, I'm here with... Austin Cloward. Ashton Westcott. Hi, Camille de Marais Gomez. Moira Fox. Zoe Wright. So what do you think of the homecoming theme this year? Actually, I like it. It was the best ones since last year. I love it. I love Princess and the Frog. So I'm so excited. I actually love it. You know, not in New Orleans. It's kind of giving me like New Orleans Saints vibes. Have you asked anyone? Yeah, I asked Jackson Cloward. Shout out Jackson Cloward. Shout out Sophie Dunn. Neil, have you been asked yet? I'm going with my friend, Oliva Cottrell. Someone asked Moira. No, I have not been asked. Boys, ask me out. If you could pick the theme for Homecoming, what would it be? Oh yeah, BYU Cougars. Barbie theme. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, 1960s. All just Disney theme. Thanks for joining me, Caveman. Homecoming is September 28th. Make sure you grab a date and I'll see you there. Thank you, Sierra. Homecoming should be pretty fun this year. Yo, I love how confidently incorrect that kid was about Barbie. For real, dude. Barbie is for little girls. For real. Boys only love Call of Duty and race cars. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I love Barbie. You're a little girl! No! Next up, we're gonna talk to Carly Havili about student council and what they do for our school. Hi, my name is Carly Havili, and I am the student body president at American Fork High School. One thing that I'd want people to know about me is that, genuinely, I do care. Like, I care about everyone at our school. So when I'm old and gray, and I'm like 80, my hope is that I've had a successful life, and to me, that means that, like, everything I've done, I've done. Like, everything I've wanted to do, I've traveled the world, I've made close friends, I have close connections with my family, I think one thing I've learned in my life is that it's not that deep. Like, if you want to try out for a new school, try out for a new school. If you want to try a new sport, just go for it. Like, the worst thing that you could ever do is just not try. And um, honestly, I kind of wish that I, I tried new things more. You know, I just kind of went for it. I guess any advice that I have for you guys just to be to just go for it. Live life to the fullest and Make this year amazing. It's all up to you, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have an amazing year, so. Love you, Caveman. We love you too, Carly. She's so sweet. Everyone make sure to say hello to her in the hallways. And while you're saying hello to her, you can check out some of the club posters we have on the walls. Speaking of clubs, let's go take a look at some of the clubs we have here at our school. Hey, Caveman, I'm Gordon. Today I'm gonna be talking about clubs. Do you like having fun? Do you like competing against others? Do you like playing Super Smash during lunch? Do you like dressing up in fancy suits and going to McDonald's? ¿Quieres hablar una lengua diferente con amigos? Then join a club. And make sure to check out Club Rush on September 27th. Back to you in the studio. Wait, does anybody know what he said in Spanish? I'm pretty sure he's making fun of Big Man Guan. No, my glory is king! Hey, it's okay, Cade. Forgive and forget. Now, let's turn it over to Bethany with the track team. Word. Hi guys, I'm Bethany Elder, and we're gonna go check out the cross country team. I'm here with Alex Williams, Brody Jones, Trey Nielsen. What did you start doing your first year of cross country? I started when I was in seventh grade, and I've been running ever since. I started uh, end of my freshman year. I started um, spring of eighth grade. How will your goals affect your senior year? Well, we have some big goals for this senior year, but I think with the goals I have in mind, it will help us achieve our team goals. And what got you the courage to try out your freshman year? Uh, my friends. Why did you start cross country? I started because um, I wanted to get fit for soccer originally. Those are some pretty great thoughts. Let's throw it back to the studio. Thank you, Bethany. 
Make sure you guys go check out their next race. And make sure you wear our school colors. Speaking of colors. Turns out people are very passionate about what the color they have for their classes is. Let's go see. I started so bad. Hey guys, this week Jacob and I are going to be answering the age old question. How do you color coordinate your class folders? So, what color goes with what classes? Science is green. Science, science is green. Oh no, oh I no, know. definitely blue. <laughs> no, no, science no. is green, 100%. Math is blue. Math yeah, is blue. yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. Yes. And English is red. Yes, English thank is you, red. thank you. I have not found a single person who was a great that English is red. It's terrible. No. So green is math. Math is always is green. No, but no, blue but, is science. It just makes sense. But then green is history. No, 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 yellow is history. No, yellow, yellow does make sense. But yellow, yellow is history. But still, blue for math. Science is blue. Incorrect. Uh, no, I don't think so. The color of the sky and all, yeah, the, but all like, the wonderful things that turn blue when you put like chemicals in them. Dude, I just want to know where and how she found a whole group of people that fully believes that math is blue. For real, dude, it's so weird. Let's just move on. Yep, because now it's time for the Wheel of Endings. So let's head on over. Ugh. Push it back. What's up? Make sure you guys check out this QR code. It's gonna be on screen somewhere. If you guys wanna be in Cave TV and you have like suggestions for Wheel of Endings or anything like that. So let's run Wheel of Endings. <laughs> Student <laughs> outro? What does that mean? I don't know. Thanks for watching. This is Cade to VV. Broadcasting from our cave to yours. This has been Cade and Jaden. Make sure to follow at BCave Creative on Instagram and YouTube. Peace out.